Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Alright guys, so welcome to another video and I had put up a poll about this video as to I should make this video or not but most of you all said yes. So here it is. This is the ROM that we are going to review next. The name is Resurrection Remix, one of my favorites, has a lot of customization, good developer support and a lot of other things. So in this video basically we are going to get ourselves set up for this ROM to be used for the next two or three days before we make a full review out of it. And uh, in today's video we will just be installing it, we will have a quick look of, at the installation steps and uh, the first impressions of it and we will cover everything in detail in the full review so if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a cut to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install almost any custom ROM on the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 and in this case we're going to be installing Resurrection Remix because that is the ROM that is up for review on this channel next. So I'm going to be using it for a couple of days and then I'll share my thoughts on it in the form of a full review. For now, let me tell you that I'm on the latest global beta which is 9.5.20 which you probably saw in the last video. So one thing that you need to make sure is you're either on the latest global stable or the latest global beta before you flash any custom ROM or you have to go by the XDA rules and uh, flash the latest firmware to ensure that you don't have any compatibility issues. Apart from that, you need to have at least 40 or 50% battery to ensure you have a successful flash and backup, backup, backup. I cannot stress enough because although we are not going to wipe the internal storage, but it's very, very imperative that you go ahead and backup all the data. Things that you will need, a POCO F1 with an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. If you want to know how to install TWRP, go ahead and check that video out on my Pocophone playlist. At the same time, you will need the ROM file, G apps, and the disable force encrypt to ensure that the device doesn't get encrypted. Once you've downloaded these files, you have to copy them in your phone's memory. Make sure your phone has enough charge and all your data is, all your important data rather, is backed up. And then you're ready to roll. So, first thing that we'll do is power the phone off. Bye bye Xiaomi's MIUI for the next two days. And once the phone is completely powered off, press and hold volume up and power. The moment you see the POCO logo, let the buttons go off and you will boot into TWRP. Now once you're on the home screen of TWRP, click on wipe and then advanced wipe, Delvic cache system data. And that's all. We won't be wiping internal storage or micro SD. So there you go, everything is wiped and we'll go to install. Now we will queue the file so that everything can be flashed in one go. So first we will flash, select Resurrection Remix, latest version, then open G apps and then disable force encryption and swipe to confirm flash. Now as we are flashing the ROM, G apps and DFE, it will take two to five minutes for it to be completely flashed. So please be very, very patient while that happens. We will quickly skip to the part where it is already installed. All right, so as you can see, all the files have now been installed. So we will wipe cache in Dalvik to be safe and go to the home screen, reboot system and wait for the ROM to boot up. Now, of course, this is a clean, fresh install and this is a first boot. So it can take anywhere between two to five minutes, but technically this is a powerful phone. This is a Snapdragon 845 powered device. So it should not take more than two to three minutes, but just wait for the ROM to boot up. All right, so it just took about two minutes for me to completely you know, boot up and reach the setup screen, which looks clean and beautiful. So let's quickly skip here. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of the beautiful Resurrection Remix. It's a very, very pure and minimalistic ROM. It asks us to sign in for this Google Now dashboard to the left. And if we have a look, let's increase the brightness a little bit. It's a very, very pure and clean Android experience. and. Uh, this is not a G cam, this is the basic uh, camera that is supplied with all the custom ROMs. But the moment you get into a custom ROM, the smoothness that you feel is completely different. And uh, that is why I like custom ROMs a lot. So more or less, if you have a look, we are in Resurrection Remix right now. And one other advantage is you have the June security patch. This is the latest version dated 19th of May. And uh, again, if you go to settings over here, and if you go to 
resurrection tools you have a whole lot of customization options so we will cover all of these in the full review when we do a full review for this wonderful wonderful device and wonderful rom but more or less this was a quick way to install any custom rom on your xiaomi pocophone f1 and today we did install resurrection remix so stay tuned for the full review until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye